Good morning students. Today we will discuss about the last topic, electron affinity. First year topic that is electron affinity. Electron affinity. Electron affinity or electron gain enthalpy. Electron gain enthalpy. So what is electron gain enthalpy? So, so it is neutral gaseous atom itself. So when an electron is added to the neutral gaseous atom, it is converted into X minus with the release of energy. Energy. So this release energy is called as electron affinity. The amount of energy released, the amount of energy is released when an electron is added, added to the neutral gaseous isolated atom is called electron affinity or electron gain enthalpy. So here, so when an electron is added, for example here, this is first cell, second cell or second cell, whatever it may be. When we are adding one electron for this, some amount of energy is released. That electron, that release energy is called as electron affinity. So here, first electron affinity and second are, what is first electron affinity and what is electron, second electron affinity, I will explain. So EA1, EA1 means X is a X plus 1 electron, it is converted into X minus with the releasing of energy, energy, so delta H equal to negative, negative means this is exothermic, so exothermic, for unilegative ion, we are adding one more electron. Di negative ion. So it is formed X minus 2 here. So here, if you want to add one more electron to the anion, you want to supply energy. So here, minus energy. Minus energy means delta H equal to positive. Delta H value positive means that is endothermic reaction that is endothermic reaction so therefore EA1 is exothermic reaction EA2 is endothermic reaction in EA1 if you want to add one electron to the element energy is released one electron one more electron to the add one more electron to the anion. Anion means we are already adding one electron. Adding one electron. Therefore, that required required to want to supply some amount of energy. Therefore, EA1 is exothermic. EA2 is endothermic. So, this is about this is about electron affinity introduction. After that, I will give an example for this. Example for this, if you take oxygen, oxygen, O plus one electron, O minus plus energy. Therefore, delta H equal to negative. That is exothermic. That is exothermic. Next one. O minus plus one more electron, we are adding O minus 2, minus energy, minus energy, delta H equal to positive, that is endothermic, that is endothermic reaction. So, delta H is positive, that is endothermic 
reaction. So next one, next one is electron affinity is measured in kilocalories electron volts per atom. So measure units electron volts per atom. First one kilocalorie per mole. Next one kilo joules per mole. So this energy is therefore electron volts per atom, kilo calorie per mole, kilo joule per mole. These are the measurements or units. So what are we creating? Electron volts, kilo calories, kilo joules per moles. After that, it is calculated by using Barth Haber cycle. So it is calculated, electron affinity is calculated by using Barnhaber cycle. What is Barnhaber cycle? We will discuss in the chemical bonding. But electron affinity is calculated, calculated by, by Barnhaber, Barnhaber cycle. So Barnhaber cycle. So it is calculated by Barnhaber cycle. By using bond paper cycle, we can calculate the electron affinity. After that, after that, so electron affinity depends upon so many factors. So it depends upon these factors. I will explain what are the factors influence. So electron affinity depends on depends on atomic size. First one, atomic size. Next one, electronic configuration. Electronic configuration. Third one, third one, shielding effect. Shielding effect. After that, effective nuclear charge. What is effective nuclear charge already given? Effective nuclear charge. This, in these four factors, it depends upon these four factors. After that, for noble gases, for noble gases, they are stable, stable electronic configuration. Noble gases are having, noble gases are having stable. Stable NS2 and B6 configuration. Therefore, their values are positive. Positive means if you want to add one electron, just you have to supply the energy. And also, and also nitrogen and phosphorus. Nitrogen and phosphorus. Nitrogen is 2s2, 2p3. This is 3s2, 3p3. So P orbital half in. So P P orbital half in here. Here also P orbital half in. Therefore, stable electronic configuration. Therefore, they are close to these values are close to zero. Therefore, they are having positive values. Therefore, electronic configuration is also one of the factor. So one of the factor will influence the electron. Affinity. So, for example, nitrogen having half in stable electronic configuration. So, therefore, their values are their values are similar to the similar to the zero or equal to the zero or positive values. Actually, all elements are having negative values. If an electron is added to the neutral gaseous atom, energy is energy is released. So they will ask the question, why nitrogen and phosphorus having positive values or the values are very close to zero? Means, because they have a stable half-wave electronic configuration. So they are having stable electronic configuration. So after that, after that,
So Ea one is Ea one is exothermic. Ea one is exothermic for all elements. For all elements except except beryllium, beryllium, magnesium, nitrogen, and all noble gases. All noble gases. So here, 66 kilojoule per mole for this. This is 67 kilojoule per mole. This is 31 kilojoule per mole. This is positive values. All are positive values. These are all are positive values. Why? Because when you observe the beryllium electronic configuration, beryllium is 4, 1s2, 2s2. Here, stable electronic configuration. When you observe the magnesium, magnesium, so magnesium is 12, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. Here, 2 electrons are there. After that, nitrogen. So nitrogen is also stable. Stable means 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. Therefore, half pair stable electronic configuration. Noble gases, all noble gases except helium, they have a ns2 mp6 that is also stable electronic configuration. So, all elements are having even exothermic except these elements, beryllium, magnesium, nitrogen, noble gases elements, helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon. So, these are having positive value. The remaining elements, even value is negative. So, this is very, very important. This is about electron affinity. So, electron affinity means the amount of energy released when an electron is added to the neutral isolated gaseous atom. Ea1 is exothermic, Ea2 is endothermic. So, why Ea2 is endothermic? Because Already one electron is added. If you want to add one more electron, repulsion takes place. To overcome that repulsion, e, Ea2 is endothermic. You want to supply one more energy. So why, why Ea2 is, why Ea2 is endothermic? Ea1 is exothermic. What is the reason? Because, so simply we are saying repulsion. So already electron is present in the outermost. So here, this is nucleus, like this. Here we are already adding one electron. So energy is, Ea1 is released. That is exo. Exo. If you want to add one more electron. So here this repulsion takes place. To overcome this repulsion, we want to add some energy. Therefore, Ea2 is endo. Hermic. And uh, to overcome the repulsion, we want to supply some amount of energy. Therefore, Ea2 is Ea2 is endothermic, Ea1 is exothermic. For any element, Ea2 is exothermic. So endothermic. 